welcome to or welcome back to our channel we are here again to do a little weekend in the life with us we are americans living in belgium and today is game, game day, day for mitch i'm so excited it's a cup game today yeah. so that means like they have all the teams that are around belgium and we uh we play against each other for a chance to win the belgian cup and uh we are in the semifinals right now which is basically the, the final four um so we're complete we're playing against shalawa we played them two weeks ago so we had a chance to got a chance to win a big game today mm -hmm. uh it's the best of two games and by that i mean whoever has the most points after two games wins so it's basically like one big giant 80 minute right. 80 minute game so i'm excited it's gonna be fun and yeah. uh hope we gotta go out there and get a win so yeah they have their game tonight um and then they'll sunday. have their game on sunday in shallow in shallow this yeah. one's home so yeah home game tonight and then they'll have their game on sunday and then they're gonna have practice tomorrow but hopefully we can kind of just like take you with us and go show you what we're doing maybe go get some dinner and i'll show you guys part of the game tonight so we'll see you there Hi guys, I just got to Mitch's game and I'm super excited to go in, but first I wanted to, I was driving here and I kind of just was thinking about it, like I told you guys I was going to share like the ups and the downs and everything um, with living overseas and sometimes I feel like you just want to see like the good stuff, but I'm going to share kind of like a little more personal stuff is like it has been like I would say probably like two weeks now has been rough for me. I'm going to be honest, like it really like i was doing like so great and then just homesickness like hit me out of the blue and it's like i don't know what started it i don't know how to fix it i'm trying to focus on the things that like do make me happy but like i am gonna be honest it has been really hard these past like two weeks and um i just want to say like living overseas is not for the week <laughs> it is hard and it is fun and there's lots of benefits to it but it's normal to feel this way i have to keep reminding myself but it is very hard and challenging at some points too and just like it's hard you miss your family you miss your friends i miss target i miss sonic i miss chipotle i miss like literally everything so um i'm just going to keep trying to focus on things that bring me joy and i just want to say that youtube brings me joy so i'm gonna keep focusing on that and sharing with you guys and then another thing that brings me joy is watching mitch play so let's go do that and focus on the good <laughs> it is saturday mitch is at practice and i am walking to the store because honestly we need some blueberries <laughs> so i'm gonna go get some of those really quick but last night i won't make him tell you because the game was pretty rough so i don't need him to relive that but they do have tomorrow to try and make up for it so they kind of had a long practice today so he's out doing that and then i think tonight we're gonna maybe go to dinner we'll see how he's how he's feeling after practice um but today i kind of have just been like hanging out around the house i finished um another book this week i read the five star weekend um last week or maybe the week before i read mad honey and i i do think mad honey was better than this one but this one was also good so if you're looking for a book five star weekend that one's really good um and then i just kind of cleaned up around the house and did saturday chores so i'm headed to the store on my little walk it's only like 10 minutes and then um we'll see you guys later when mitch gets home he's home i'm back he's been gone like all day at practice you want to say what you guys did uh you well know, we just watched film today we had like lift yeah. and then we watched film and stuff so good game tomorrow so gotta bounce back what time did you be there tomorrow i'm not 100 sure i think like it's an earlier game. I'm excited. You know, I guys, so you guys know I don't like to stay up that late, so I'm excited that we finally have a game that's a little bit earlier. I think it's like 3.30 yeah. instead of 8.30, so that's a big difference for us. So we got that tomorrow. And the Chiefs play at 12.30 in the morning. Tomorrow or tonight? On Wednesday. So 12.30 in the morning on Wednesday. On Wednesday? You jumped ahead like no, three days. Yeah. Hold on, what? No, the, Monday. Monday. Okay, Monday. well, KU does play tonight, so we are what actually 10. 
shit. Yeah, so we, we're gonna go, we still wanna get our date night in because like we really do try to make sure that we prioritize our date night no matter what kind of like weekend we're having. So we're gonna go try this place that's um, right next to our house actually. It's called, how do you say it? The Facade or something? Facade. Facade, something like Facade. that. Facade. And um, we're gonna go give it a try and still do our little date night even though the weekend hasn't really gone as planned so far. But we're gonna turn it around tomorrow. And yeah, make it a good day and um, I'll take you guys with us. Fried zucchini, melted burrata with smashed tomatoes and a little bit of, is that basil? I think, I think basil or basil. arugula, I don't know. Arugula, something. I'm a, I'm a aficionado. All right, give it a, burrata. give it a try. Just straight burrata. I got to jump in. Delicious. All right, try the zucchini thingy. Yeah. What's the number? Eight. Eight. Eight forty-five. <laughs> Just got back from dinner, and it was really good. I thought it was good. What'd you it was think? good. I liked it. I got the lop, like some lobster pasta. Yeah, I got chicken, vegetables, and potatoes. But um, the one thing that I will say, like restaurants in america versus restaurants here yeah they're trying to, like i feel like in the states they're trying to like turn tables out and like flip a profit as so like quick they're, as you, they're, they want you in and out you yeah. know they rush you and here it's like and it's a dining experience which is nice because like we get to like you know talk, talk more, more but like i was starving we literally we sat down at our table at 6 30 and it was 8 45 when we got our food yeah and so you just i like need to do better planning like when you're hungry like you should probably make reservations like 5 30 yeah for 5 30 so that you're eating by like eight you know yeah so it, um, it was it was really good we enjoyed it i mean yeah. it was a cool little vibe and it's like right next yeah. to our place it's so. literally yeah so when it gets warmer we can walk there though which will be really nice and they did a great job with my allergies so props to them for that yep. um but i was gonna say the other thing i always feel like we are those americans like Every, Tip, please. Yeah, you know exactly what I was gonna say. We're literally because in America they bring they they bring you your food. The second you're done eating, they bring you your <laughs> you check. Shove the bill down your and throat. Here, and here, like it's like it's kind of rude, like to bring a check, like unless it's asked for. So like they never expect us to be like ready for our check. But like when we're done eating, like we're ready to roll. Ready to roll, especially because we sat down at six thirty. Yeah, we've been there like forever. we're it is nine thirty. We are ready to get out of there. And they're we're like check please, and they always look like kind of like shocked, like that we yeah, want to check. I thought the lady was mad at me today because I was like, and she was like, yeah, she like looked at him like, are you like, damn, serious? my bad, sorry, I'm trying to give you this money. I know. But I guess not. <laughs> I know. I was like, so sorry. So it was a good little date night by our house, and we're gonna go watch the KU game. KU Rock chalk, baby. Let's go, be yeah. West Virginia. And then um, game tomorrow for you. Yeah. So early bedtime. Early bedtime. Yeah. Gotta go to bed. Gotta go to bed. Gotta be All up right. early. <laughs> we'll see you guys. Good morning. I'm looking rough today. Good morning. <laughs> We're here to drop Mitch off. Um, you guys have like a brunch, right? Yeah, we got brunch, shoot mm -hmm. around, and then we're going on a drive to Shallow Off for the yeah. second half of the cup. So he's gonna, they have their little brunch and then shoot around, and then I'm gonna go back, get ready, and then I'm meeting one of the other wives and we're gonna drive. It's like an hour drive. But it's good because it's at 3.30, so we'll still be back before, like, Chiefs play at 12.30 yeah. in the morning. Yeah, now he knows. Yesterday, he was like, Wednesday, the Chiefs play. I'm like, what day you're are over you here, on? You're really discombobulated. You do. It's actually really true. But, but we're down by, you want to tell him? Are you, <laughs> you tell him, oh, we're down by 21 yeah. right now. So We're down bad. This is basically halftime of an 80-minute game, so we got to win the second yeah. half by 21 points, so. We're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna pull out all the stops. We're going for it. Yeah, and you're gonna film some clips before. Yeah, we're gonna try. We'll He's see. He's gonna try to get you some back behind the scenes action. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. See Sorry. you later. 
I just got to the gym. I am waiting on one of my friends to get here with her kids and I got the car and the gas and so she's gonna drive because you guys know I hate driving. So we have about an hour drive there and then we're gonna watch the game. just got back to the gym because this is where I met um, Elena to go to the game so I'm just waiting in the car now for Mitch to get back on the bus so they're bringing the bus from the game um, here and then um, I think we're gonna go get like a quick little dinner to finish out the night so I'll take you guys with us and I think it's just gonna be more of a chill dinner there's like this poke bowl place that we haven't tried and they're open and I think it'll be quick so hopefully we won't be waiting for hours for our <laughs> for our dinner tonight so I'll take you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Good morning. This is the face of someone who stayed up until what time? Like 3 a.m. <laughs> like 3 a.m. for the Chiefs game, but we won. It was we won. good. So I'm it happy. was good. We're up, we're making pancakes. Mitch always likes to make pancakes, but it's super hard because I'm gluten-free, so we kind of have to do like separate, but we're making it happen today, and we're having some pancakes, and we're gonna have an off day. Are you good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm good. We're gonna have just an sorry. off day, just like a lazy day. Eat our pancakes, and then when's your next game? Um, Saturday, I think. Saturday, so we got another week. Last night we went to that poke bowl place and I honestly I didn't have like that high of hopes because it was um kind of like you know like a quicker restaurant. Mine was really good. He no, got I got not. salmon, avocado, cucumbers, what else did I get? Sushi rice. It was so good. And then what'd you get? I got like a tuna, tuna avocado bowl thing. It was yeah, good. Yeah, it was really good. But tasty. Anyway, we're gonna I'll I'll film our pancakes when they're done. But um I just have to say the gluten-free pancakes are looking a bit better than these ones so far. Getting better, but he's given up. We're just making one giant pancake and his coffee. Sick and damn tired of these skinny ass pancakes. <laughs> They're like crepes. Come on. Oh, not bad. <laughs> The gluten-free and the massive giant gluten-filled gluten filled pancake. The pancake that would kill Abby. <laughs> We're gonna close out our video here and we just wanna say thank you so much for watching and we hope you guys enjoyed our little weekend even though it was kinda quick little with packed with games. But anyways, thank you guys so much and we will see you guys in the next video.